Hey everybody, how are you doing? This is Brad Dyke. Now, today is a little special treat for everybody. Um, a long time ago, I told you guys how you can take something like this little adapter here and basically bridge it over into a SATA bridge cable interface and connect it to a SAS drive so that you could, te you could test a SAS drive, a single SAS drive, because it might be failing or you might have to format or do something like that. And that resulted in quite a few responses, and I kind of made a little bit of a mistake. But I realized it wasn't really technically a mistake, because I was only focusing on the connector cable bridging, not necessarily the entire picture. So this time I decided, well, I also brought this little guy to discussion, and it basically has a SAS interface on one side, and the SATA bridge SAS interface on the other side. And what that does is allows you to connect it to the back of a SAS disk, like this. And as it connects to the edge connector, you can then put a regular power feed and a SATA bridge cable over. But what I didn't talk about was the nature of the controller card. That was the part that was missing. But more importantly, I also want to introduce a new, better cable solution. Check that out. That's right. For SAS bridge interfaces right there. You see that? To a single... SAS only back in, opposed to the single mode, which goes to a SATA bridge connection. I'll explain. Okay, so like I said, this little guy, he bridges into the edge of a SAS drive like that. And when you compress it down, if you look at the back of it, you'll see that it has the normal SATA and power output connector, that which is not pretty normal. But, with that being said, it also has some overheads to it that are a little bit of a pain in the butt. You have to get the right kind of coupler fit, because it doesn't fit very well. But that's okay, because if that doesn't work, then of course, you could deal with the old tried and true, which is this guy right here, which connects up just fine. And, you know, it outputs to a power output here, and it goes out to the SATA. Now... One very important thing is that you've got to understand that motherboards, PC motherboards specifically, do not have the ability of connecting to a SAS disk. The controller doesn't exist. You need a SAS controller card, like an LSI card with a connector edge SATA connector. Now this is a SAS connector right here. And if you put the SATA to the SAS, you understand why. Now, in the past, I told you to get yourself an LSI con controller card, a SAS controller card, it's called SATA SAS controller card, and that would allow you to connect that SATA bridge to the I.O. controller card, and that you could begin doing your diagnostics. But this guy right here is so much better, in my opinion. It skips the SATA bridge completely, see? And on the front end, it's got the SAS bridges, like we need, got the outputs for power right there and it's able to do more than one but at least one drive so as we connect it up as follows it will give us four hard drives that which we can do at once now this is a PCIe card type 2 class type 3 and that's okay, you don't have to have a high performance SAS card, but as you can see there, it comes off very easily. You hit up your Molex connectors here from your power supply, plug this guy in to the SAS head controller. This is a little different. Remember I told you that you would have to have a SATA SAS controller card for this to work. But, in the new cable setup, you don't. In the new cable setup, all you need is just a standard SAS controller card with internal ports. Not external, but internal. External ports are on the back end. That requires a completely different kind of interface. But an internal one would snap right in to the inside, inside your server, and give you what you want. Now, I know what's going to happen as soon as I put this video out. People are going to ask the question, what type of controller should I get to do this? And the answer is pretty simple and not expensive also basically in a nutshell you can set this up so that you can have roughly i'd say for maybe 
25 to $45, uh, you would be able to um, get one of the LSI series, 20, uh, 3000 series or the 2000 series cards. You'll have two internal SAS connectors like that. And you basically snap this guy into it. It's a small card. It's fairly easy to work with. And it will do what you want. And then, like I said, right here, this is basically all you need to test failing hard drives like I've got. i got 10 of these i got to test. And I was going to initially use my, my old way, but I decided, you know what, no, let's go and research this, and I found a good solution for that. So, with that being said, again, there are still really cool, really interesting ways. Like, for instance, here you have a SATA and power output versus the SAS bridge output. This, and the SAS side goes in the back of the hard drive. This is where your cables connect up. It's kind of a pain in the butt. You really have to have the right kind of drives for it to fit right. But if you do have the right type of drives, it works pretty well. This, this is a no-brainer, but you need the specific SAS and SATA bridge card that has the SATA outputs on the, uh, on the uh, HBA card, or you can go with a full-blown SAS card. So with that being said, as you can see, this is so much easier, right? I got four hard drives up to a single pair on one interface connection and of course our power is right here and we got everything we need so with that being said this particular format is better than my previous videos where I've walked you through now this is also a very good video in support of the format 520 to 512 strategy uh, if you want to you know take a drive out and force a reformat of it or if you buy a, bu a bunch of bulk enterprise hard drives that are pre-formatted like at the um, I'd say the Dell level or something like that you have to flip them over to 512 from 520 this is a really easy cheap way of doing it on the fly four at a time uh, refer to my other videos in regards to that so that you know exactly um, what's available for you to do and that way it will make um, it will make a really it will make good sense to either do a single hard drive reformat or you're going to do let's say multiples I've done both but uh, when it comes to diagnostic states you want this cable it's out on eBay I got it for like I think for like twelve dollars or eighteen dollars something like that super cheap very easy it's it's basically uh, SAS outputs with power molex to a SAS connector four, four to one and that's all you really need and the rest is done by the way this is the same kind of cable strategy that exist with channeling, like I've shown you guys with disc arrays. These four bridge cables actually represent channels. So when you plug up a 24 disc array into a single SAS connection, this explains how those four channels work. So you can actually figure that out pretty easily just by looking at how the connectors hook up. Well, this is Brad Dyke. I'm going to sign off here. I hope you guys enjoy yourselves and enjoy and keep learning. Take care.